uh, freshman defensive lineman Stanley McKenzie. Uh, Trace Travers, go ahead. Yeah, Stanley, from what we've heard from everybody who who we've interviewed over these past couple of weeks is that you're one of the guys who's standing out as a true freshman early. How is it, how's it going through your first fall camp here? Uh, I'll say it's going pretty good. Um, the first week was uh, kind of rough, you know, trying to get the change of the pace in college football. Mm -hmm. But with, um, you know, having a great online and going to gun them every day, uh, it's really like up my playing level and having such a great, um, D lines out like the older D linemen is helping me out and just giving me tips and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. What have some of their biggest, uh, you know, points of emphasis to you? What have those been? Uh, like their biggest emphasis is like, just don't be afraid to make mistakes because when I first came in, I was like trying to, I was taking too long to read the blocks and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But they're telling me, like, don't be afraid to make mistakes and, like, shoot your hands, fire out, and <clears throat> just try to uh, push back the alignment before they get to you. And just being focused and remembering all your play calls. Mm -hmm. And if I'm remembering correctly, for you in high school at uh, St. Louis, you're playing in a four-man front. How is it playing in a three-man front now, uh, directly above the center sometimes? Uh, no, in high school, we played three-man front, too. Okay, I'm I'm always wrong, but how is it doing it at the next level? <laughs> um, in high school, we didn't uh, have a lot of, like, slip box and mm -hmm. reach box. It was just mainly double teams. So mm -hmm. coming here and, like, going against all linemen that can move mm -hmm. and that, like, get off the ball, mm -hmm. it's been, like, a big change. So two, three weeks in, I'm, like, starting to get used to it and, like, picking up the tempo and the pace of the game. Yeah. How's it uh, working with uh, Coach Browning a little more, you know, closely now? Uh, coach Browning, he's a good coach. He's a cool coach. He always, like, breaks down everything from play to play. Like, if you get this block here, this is what you do. Or if this O-lineman tries to scoop you here, this is what you do. And he just, like, he breaks down every, like, little scenario inside film. And he just helps us a lot, especially us freshmen. Mm -hmm. with uh, the depth of the D-line being so sh shallow this year. Mm -hmm. And I guess what's your experience been like the being, you know, doing the virtual school and this being your first semester and everything? Um, it wasn't ex like something I expected because of the whole pandemic, mm -hmm. but uh, it's been good so far, you know, just going on virtual classes and stuff like that. So, Yeah. And I asked Chase this, but he hadn't gotten to eat the post-practice meal. How was uh, Benji's cooking? It was good. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was like something like back home when I would eat back home in Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, yeah that was some... Ben, I give thank you to Benji and his family because <laughs> it's been a while since I had a meal cooked like that. Yeah, no, uh, one of the sto recruiting stories we heard from Coach Wilcox during signing day last year oh. was going to your your family's house with Coach Browning and Coach Tui and kind of your family made the flight back pretty uncomfortable for them with how much they ate. Yeah. I, I just want to know, what what did you guys all have during that one? <laughs> oh, so what we had, what did we have? We had, um, we of course had to have rice because that's the main thing yeah, back in Hawaii. So we had mm -hmm. rice. And then I think we had some steak, uh, some chicken, we had shrimp, and then we had um, this um, some wind dish called pasipovi. Pasi it's like brisket and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then some sapasui. Uh, it's like chop suey, like some wind style. And then we had, I think we had some fish, and then mochiko chicken, and then I'm pretty sure we had way more stuff that plus like, yeah, other than that. And then I knew we had like a bunch of desserts too. That's fantastic. I should not interview well hungry. <laughs> yeah. I, I've got nothing else. Thank you Stanley for all that. I will uh, check in here.